Welcome back to my channel and in today's video I thought I would do a pregnancy makeup routine video with you guys since since I've been pregnant my makeup has been very different and I have just kind of toned it down a little bit but I just wanted to show you guys what I use what helps me prolong my makeup and just a really simple routine that I've been doing that works for me and also it's just gonna be like a little chit chat video with you guys updating you on life and everything about my pregnancy and if you guys want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching good morning you guys I woke up this morning wanting to do a get ready with me and I've been really enjoying these on YouTube recently and especially since I've been pregnant I haven't done like a pregnancy uh, makeup routine video for you guys since my makeup has changed drastically so I thought today would be a really good day to do that with you guys get ready I'm gonna be going in I'm sure you guys can already see them popping out here uh, my new pink princess brushes so <clears throat> I told you guys in my last video, which if you guys have not seen it, I had a full introduction video to these brushes. Also giving you guys a 40% off coupon code for all my followers. Um, so that'll be down below, SL Miss Glam 22. And I'm just really excited about this new collection, so I wanted to use it today since I haven't used them on my channel yet. So I thought that'd be exciting. And I'm just going to show you guys pretty much what my routines look like. I honestly have not worn a lot of makeup i do have the same routine that i do every day before i run errands if we're going out for dinner and it's always kind of the same like i don't really wear false lashes anymore i might do them today just for this video but we'll see um but yeah i'm gonna roll right into this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you want to see more of these definitely give this video a thumbs up and also i thought i'd do like a life update with you guys kind of like chit chat with you guys too so for my foundation, I've been using the Peach Perfect all throughout my pregnancy, you guys. This is just like my go-to foundation. I had to go pick up another one when I went to Maui because I was like almost out. You guys can actually find them everywhere in my drawers. Like, look at that. So I'm, oh, and another one, but this one is a darker color. Uh, the one that I wear is Warm Nude and it seems to really work. Right now I'm getting a little bit more tan. We've been hanging out by the pool. Um, if you guys have seen on my vlog channel, we showed like a pool introduction. I'm so happy we got the pool, you guys. Like it was amazing because not that we were, well, we wanted to last. Uh, well when we moved in we had to decide if we wanted to do a pool or not obviously see the twin girls loving the pool and we can teach them how to swim in there Maxie is obsessed he like runs around the pool every morning clawing at the door now when he wakes up in the morning and he wants me to let him out to go by the pool it's so cute um so for foundation um you know what I'm gonna go in with the I'm gonna go in with the full foundation brush right here and I really like it it gives like a flawless airbrush finish and I just put some on the back of my hand right here and this foundation too is uh, like a medium to full coverage it says medium but like you can build it up to a full coverage and I usually just do like a medium coverage I don't want to do anything too heavy on my skin just because my skin hasn't been the best um, but yeah I am so happy with that we got the pool in the last few days I've been hanging out by the pool and it just refreshes me you guys like I can't even describe to you I've been so sick of the rain and like the cloudy weather that like now having sunshine and I'm wearing dresses and I feel so nice and like oh it's just amazing um I don't live in California where like you guys have year-round and beautiful weather so I mean we go through our four seasons and it was uh we had a long like winter here so it was really nice that summer came around and you can see even with like one ap application that like it's already covered up like the acne and like even a little bit like of my dark circles underneath my eyes. I will go in with concealer, but it does do the job. It's a really good foundation. And I find it wears like all throughout the day. I have never found a foundation. Like all of my foundations usually kind of slip off within like six to eight hours. This one like still stays on. It's crazy. Um, I do wear the mattifying spray as well by them, which I also find helps really well. But... Um, yeah, and then I go down my neckline, of course. Sorry if I look really oily. I've been like oiling my body, you guys, ever since I've been pregnant. I use bio oil. I use this all natural Josie Moran body butter. It is amazing. And I actually watched another girl's YouTube channel, Alex Garza, when she was pregnant. She was using it. And now I know why. I'm like, it is the best body butter in the world. And it's expensive. It's like, I think $65, but it's so worth it. So worth it. 
Okay, so now for concealer, I'm going in with the All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer by Urban Decay. I picked this up because I was actually looking for a full coverage concealer um, a few weeks ago, and I found this, and I heard it's really good. And I'm in the color Medium Light Warm. Sorry if I'm looking like here and at the camera. I'm trying to look at the camera too, but I'm also trying to look at my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, I just put it right underneath my eyes, and then also just around any areas where I tend to get a little bit more oily, like around my nose but it's a really good concealer. Um, but yeah, as a pregnancy update, I haven't really updated you guys. I am on 23 weeks now, and I'm showing at about 26, 27 weeks. They are growing so quickly, and we actually have another OB appointment on Monday, this upcoming Monday, so I'm really excited because um, I just, I don't know, I love going and like seeing the babies, getting an update, and it's just, yeah. What am I doing? Oh my god. See, that's pregnancy brain. I completely forgot that I had to do like my nose and other areas. But um, yeah, I'm really excited to just go get an update. I've been doing really well though. Like I haven't dealt with any <clears throat> any issues so far really. But the only thing that I've dealt with is like a little bit of back pain. And that's completely normal just from like the growing pains and stuff. That's what my doctor said. Um, but what's been really helping is pregnancy massage so i've gone for three already and i have to tell you guys it is the best feeling in the world when you go and i just feel so much better um i am gonna go in now sorry I'm trying to right here so i'm going in with this brush right now this is the round concealer it's new to the book and it's one of my favorites so i just wanted to quickly show you guys that brushes so i just wanted to quickly show you guys that it's a new brush in the book and it's wonderful for right under the eyes for blending out and I just really love this brush. It's I'm so happy that it's in in this book So yeah pregnancy massage was like one of the best things that I have ever done I've tried to book myself like once every four weeks And that's also how often they told me to book like if I'm dealing with like some pain or if I just want like Relaxation because I can actually obviously write them off with the benefit plan that we have so it's been really nice and those have been helpful because my hips my butt <laughs> and my thighs and it's called sciatica I think and it's just where you have sharp pains that run throughout your body from growing pains and like oh my god I can't stand it it's it's not as bad as it was like probably a month ago but um, I would say that the pregnancy massages definitely help the only other thing that I would say has been really hard with pregnancy has been um, my sleep so I find it extremely hard to sleep um, I wake up like so many times throughout the night to pee and I, I constantly flip sides so I have to wake poor Maxie up, Ryan wakes up all the time and I'm just like always switching sides even with my pregnancy pillow. Um, and I'm not putting on too much bronzer you guys, it's actually a very light bronzer so like I feel like I always have to kind of build it up. Um, but yeah my sleep has not been very good so it's been really really hard to sleep. And my breathing too, which they said that would be normal because I think I told him like a few months ago, I said, oh, like my breathing's kind of different and I feel like I have to take deeper breaths now. And he said, oh, that's completely normal. Like wait until you get bigger. It'll be harder for you to breathe. Um, but yeah, I just, I have to take like deeper breaths now and uh, I just find it's more difficult to breathe, especially at night. And I have allergies too, so if I get, get like congested, I'm like, <sighs> like I'm finding it so hard to breathe. But yeah, that honestly, I'm just being a trooper through it all. Hanging in there, it hasn't been too, too bad, so I'm happy about that. Go in with the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. I love this palette. It's a nude palette, nude warm eye palette. And um, I get sent like a lot of Too Faced PR, you guys, but I also love Too Faced. They are my favorite brand, so that is why I'm using like so much of their makeup today. This is what happens when I put on oil on my body. I can't open up my makeup. But uh, this is what the colors look like right here. Just very nice, neutral, everyday tones. So I'm going to go in with this nice light shade right here all over my lid and go in with the small shadow brush right here and it's the color honey pot honestly like the more simple the makeup the better because like i don't have patience anymore for doing like a full makeup look but you can still make your makeup look glam like i mean 
I'm still going in with like a nice golden bronzy eye today and um, like a bronzy look but just not as much as like I would wear if I wasn't pregnant. Okay, so my camera actually just died right now so I thought I'd fill in my brows since they take me the longest. And I know this video is already going to be very long because it's a chit chat, but I just went with the Cabrow and Gimme Brow. It's just what I've been using by benefit for the like the longest time ever. So my two main favorites right there. I'm um, going to go back in with the natural eyes today. And also, you guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the love and support on my vlog channel. I was just looking at it and oh my goodness, I cannot believe all the comments, all the views on that channel, all the love. It's just crazy. And I just actually uploaded... Where did I put my eyeshadow brush? Uploaded my 40 ultrasound. Um, so you guys get to see our girls and it was just such an amazing experience to go there and get that done. And Ryan and I just were overwhelmed to see their little faces. And then also I did like a pool tour with you guys. And um, yeah, no, I'm just so happy you guys are really loving the vlogs in that channel. It means a lot to me and I'll continue to make the vlogs for you. Um, I also had a lot of people asking when we're doing our name reveal. So we've decided um, we're gonna do it when they're born and then reveal the names to you guys. And I can't wait for you guys to find out. You're gonna love the names so much. Um, but yeah, we're waiting till then. It's just something that we decided. And sorry, I'm gonna mix up the palettes a little bit today actually, because the Too Faced Bon Bon's palette actually has a really nice mocha brown that I like to go in with on my crease. So just that one right there. I always grab for it. And then I'm just going in with my eye blender right here. And I'm gonna pick up some of that mocha. Go in the crease. This is honestly such a simple look. Like I really have loved doing just like a nice golden bronzy eye, bronzed look since it's summery, pink lip, and a little bit of bronzer and blush. Boom, ready to go. No, so I just did a thin coat of liquid liner. Sorry, I didn't talk in that part. I was just very concentrated. I always find it's very hard to apply liquid liner when you're talking. Um, the other mascara I'm going to go in with right here is the Lancome Hypno Star. So I bought this when I was in Vancouver. And I have never tried this star. I've tried like the plain one that they came out with. But this one looked sparkly. Like it had sparkles all over it. So I was like, why not? Let's try this one out. And this mascara is bomb. Like it's very lengthening, very volumizing. And I love mascara so much. It's just like you've done so much work. It looks like you've done your whole face of makeup. Sometimes I'll just run out with like a little bit of mascara, lip gloss, and uh, like blush when I'm being very simple. Else to fill you guys in on. Um, well, I told you guys that we're looking at having the girls at... Uh, like early September. So I think that they'll get here first week of September is what I'm thinking. I don't know. I've wanted to like pick out a date that I think it's going to be, but I don't want to. I'll see though because I'm pretty sure I think I have to get a C-section done. I know I've already discussed that. It's just very common with twins, especially identical because they're so high risk. And my obiatrician has said that it's like 99% that I'll probably have to get it done. So I would hopefully want to get a scheduled C-section because then we would know when it is. And uh, then my mom could fly out for the birth as well, which she's wanted to. Sorry, I'm like really bright right now. There we go. Sometimes my camera gets really bright because I film with my vlogging camera. So sometimes like when the sun comes out, it just like gets so bright. So I apologize if I'm like shining right now. But um... Yeah, I hope it's a scheduled C-section if I am having one. Um, but yeah, my mom is going to be here for the birth. I'm really excited about that. And I've only got three more months to go, you guys. It's so crazy. I can't believe they're going to be here in three months. So today, actually, that's what I can talk about, too, is we are getting the cribs, the bassinets, and then the stroller are the big purchases that we need to make. So I'm just gonna buy those all online. And the stroller I was looking at was the Uffa Baby. They have a pink one and it's just the brand that, um, I've, so many of my friends have told me to get that that brand and that it um, it's a really nice high-end stroller. So I've been looking at them, I might get the pink one. And then uh, for cribs, I've been looking around. I might do it locally. They have some cute boutique shops here where you can like get them custom made or like, get them shipped in. So I might do that. And then I'm just doing like plain white cribs. 
since they have so much pink already. But I wanted to go with like, I think a pink gold and white theme. I'm not sure, like I definitely pink and white, but I, I've been trying to figure out the feature color. Um, maybe gold though, gold's always really pretty. For blush today, I'm going in with my absolute favorite, the Shimmering Skin Perfector Mineral Blush by Becca. And it was a compact duo. It actually broke when I was in Vancouver, but this is the blush that I go in with and I love it. So I'm gonna go in here with the small blusher. This is actually new as well. And it's just very natural. But yeah, if there's anything else you guys are wondering about my pregnancy, questions you may have about like a twin pregnancy, then just let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I'll try to feature them in an upcoming video for you guys. But to be honest, like my pregnancy has been pretty, pretty good so far. Like I haven't dealt with anything too terrible yet. Um, as far as like eating and I've been able to eat for the most part. I haven't really dealt with anything too, too bad. Thing you guys want to know, then just definitely let me know since you guys know I'm very open about everything with you. Um, I'm going to go in with the highlighter, the Becca Champagne Pop. This is like my absolute favorite as well. Becca has like the best highlighters and blushes. So I'm just gonna go in, I've already hit pan. I'm gonna go in with the fan brush. The small fan brush is actually new to the brush book as well. In the original, it actually only has the large one. So now you have two. Sometimes I don't apply highlight if I look quite oily. Um, but since I'm doing like a bronzed look, I thought I would do a little bit of a highlight. And then before I go in with my lipstick, which I've pretty much finished my look, um, I always go in with the Mattifying Setting Spray by Too Faced. This is like a must have product. I bought the small size when I was in, um, when we went on our honeymoon actually in Maui. So I love the travel size. Like I take this everywhere. I took it to Vancouver with me and it just mattifies your makeup. It gets your makeup to stay in place all day and it's just absolutely amazing. Um, it's really wet though. So make sure you guys spray like far and shake it. Do not forget to shake it. We had that issue on my wedding day actually because I forgot to tell Rhoda to shake it and you end up looking very powdery. So it's like a powder uh, spray. So be careful with that. So I'm just going in with my favorite lipstick. You guys know what it is, MAC Angel. It's just my favorite. And I always have this in my bag. So I'm just gonna go in with this today. It's another thing I've had is really dry lips probably from the pregnancy. I've been going in um, with just like lip balm every night, so it's been helping, but yeah, they are very dry. This is the finished look. It's what I've been doing every morning um, with my pregnancy, and I just find it very easy. It also looks glam, but I didn't have to do too much. And one more thing I actually was gonna tell you guys, I haven't even talked about this ever on my channel ever on social media actually so like nobody knows this except from like my friends and family um and ryan of course but um i actually i've had alopecia since i was a young girl and um if you guys don't know what alopecia is it's when you uh have hair loss from stress related issues and there's no like cure for it really there's things that can help um like when i was a kid i actually had to go on steroids and I lost all my hair when I was five years old and I went bald. Um, but after I went on the steroids, I actually gained all my hair back and it was so thick and amazing. My mom was saying, and it worked because they actually, the doctor said that my hair was never gonna grow back and it did magically. And I had such thick hair growing up. Um, but when I would, you know, throughout my teenage years and just growing up and everything, stresses in life, um, the alopecia would come and go. So I would get like spots, like bald spots on my hair. But I mean, you really can't tell. I do have a few right now, but they've grown in magically. I heard when you're pregnant, your hair grows thicker, which is kind of crazy. Like my spots have completely filled in right now and it's been very like thick and it's just, it's so crazy. But the only thing I'm worried about obviously is after having the babies because um, hair loss is like one of the biggest things. I know I have a few friends that um, had bald spots 
bald spots after they had their babies so i'm just a little worried about that because i do have alopecia so i'm even more so prone to it um but i did talk to my doctor so he's probably going to prescribe something after they're born so we'll see fingers crossed nothing's too bad the only thing i did notice is like my hairline my hairline has thinned out a little bit but um if you guys like if anybody else is suffering from like alopecia then something that really helps and it was actually my hairdresser that got me these um the magic root cover-up by l'oreal this one right here it is a miracle worker and i get the dark brown and i've been using it for months now and it's amazing it just fills in um areas on your hair so if you're balding anywhere or even on your hairline it like helps so so much to fill it in you wouldn't even notice so i do have some on my hairline right now usually it's a little bit um what's it called less like filled in but yeah anyways i just thought i would share that with you guys since you guys didn't know that about me yet it's just yeah i feel like i already tell you guys everything so why not um but yeah it was something that i definitely was very uh like insecure about growing up just because i thought like oh my god how am i gonna have a boyfriend how are they gonna like like what if they find out about my hair i was like so self-conscious about my hair and like every time i did have a boyfriend they were completely okay with it it wasn't like a big deal at all and even with ryan like i did last year i had to go back onto my medication for it and he would actually put spray on um the spray for me like onto my spots which was so sweet and he would help massage it in because he had to like massage it in and um yeah no it's you know it's nothing that i worry about um and you can't worry yourself out more that's the thing with alopecia it's driven from stress so if you're worrying more then you're gonna obviously stress your body out and have more hair loss but if you if anyone is struggling from it um i would love to know definitely leave a comment down below um but it's something that i definitely have overcome in life and it was something that was definitely very hard for me to grow up with but i mean i did and you make it work and i'm super super happy you guys like despite even if I do go through some, you know, like more bald spots or if my alopecia gets worse, I honestly don't even care because I'll have my babies here. And I mean, you could always get a wig if you really needed to or just the sprays. Like I said, these work really well. Anyways, I'm not going to ramble on forever. This video is already really, really long. I just wanted to share. I just wanted to share some news with you guys that you guys didn't know about me yet. And if you guys want to see me do more of these videos, just let me know in the comments down below. And of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Let me redefine you. And you can see the time move. Just like tears in the eyes do. And when